Greetings, greetings, greetings. Pastor Teddy Marshall of Word Fellowship Ministries here. And I wasn't going to do this message today because of the way my voice sounded. But, you know, it's just like the Holy Spirit to just kind of give us a lesson in the midst of stuff, right? So he told me to just go ahead. This is what he wanted me to do. Okay, so here we go. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way which seems right to a man and appears straight before him, but at the end of it is the way of death. And then he repeats it again, Proverbs 16, 25, and he says it the exact same way. There is a way that seems right to a man and appears straight before him, but at the end of it is the way of death. Okay? So when God repeats it, you know, he... Um, it means he really means it. I mean, whenever he says something, he really means it. But when he says it again, and, and the ex verbatim the same way, he's like, I want you to really pay attention to this. Amen? So, with, back to my voice. All right, so what was going on? I like my house smelling really, really nice. Everything, I just, you know, like stuff smelling good. And it, who doesn't? But I particularly pay attention to that. So I use these um things that you put into to the I don't want to call out the name right but <laughs> plugins you know there's no other way to put it and I just um and I've used them for years but this particular time I just got all congested and and all of this right and I was like what in the world is going on so in the middle of the night I was trying to I just started coughing and everything and the Holy Spirit told me, get up now and unplug those things. I unplugged them and it started to subside. And I was like, praise God. Okay, so that's what it is. All right. Now back to the lesson. Okay, back to this, right? So um, what seemed right to get my house to smell good was to plug these things in. What seemed right in different theory, things and aspects of our lives may seem right but it can be de it could be detrimental it could be harmful to us and not just physically but it could be harmful to our finances it could be harmful to relationships it seems right to do it a certain way and if we only look at it from a sense perspective a natural perspective of understanding it like makes all the sense in the world yeah this is what you do you want the room to smell good you plug these things in there you go you want to, um, let's look at for finances, okay? We know the big one is about tithing and, and sowing seed and giving offerings. And God blesses with that. He said he, he um, gives seed to the sower. We never run out, okay? But let's look at it from an investment perspective, all right? We have these investments, and it makes sense to invest in something, and that may be the hype right now, and everybody's saying, do this, do this, do this. But God knows what's going to happen to them in the end. He knows what's coming. So we should go to him and say, okay, Lord, this is seeming really good and it sounds really good. Or there, um, the counsel is that I should do this. What do you say, sir? We need to start going to God. We must start going to God on the front end of things. So yes, my voice sounds weird because I did what seemed right with these plugins but cause all of this physical challenge now let's look at relationships it may make uh, it, it may make sense or you may feel like this is the way to go okay you see somebody and they look good or they're nice to you and it's like well you know what well, let's I'll, we'll just hook up okay but god knows the heart of that person he knows if they're up to something. He knows if they're really sincere. He knows if they have an extra baggage that you would have to deal with down the road. And it would become your problem. Even if you don't have to take on their actual issue. But the stress of having to deal with somebody who's under great stress. Let's ask God. Father, this, this person is looking good. Or I'm, I'm really, there's a vibe here or whatever. What do you say, sir? So back to the scripture. There is a way which seems right to a man or woman and appears straight before him or her, <laughs> but at the end of it is the way of death. And not just physical death, but 
dreams and hopes. If you hook up with somebody who's just not ready or not right, and you're trying to deal with them, you're trying to help them, you want to be supportive of them, that takes away from the time and the energy that God wants you to spend on your thing. And then that could be the death of that dream. Or you catch my drift. <laughs> so anywho, yes, my voice sounds weird, but God brought a lesson out of it. I pray that you let it marinate in your heart and consider things that maybe you're doing that seem right. That's all I have for you today.